All right, guys, here we are in the binding coil turn one, and here's the ADS node. So we need high voltage, which is right there. All right, go ahead and kill him. And that's how you get high voltage. Now you also can get this to the nobody nodes challenge in the carnival as well, if you like. All right. So with that out of the way, our next ability is going to be Missile. This is going to come from the battle at Big Keep with Enkidu and Gilgamesh. Alright, so when we get there, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are, battle in Big Keep. Now Enkidu will do Missile, but you're going to have to drain his HP down for that to happen. Alright, there's Missile. As you can see here, it does cut your HP down by a lot. And all you need to do is kill Enkidu, and that's it. You don't only really have to continue fight the Gilgamesh part 2 part. Alright, and that's gonna end this one. Alright. So next, we are going to be going after Ram's voice and Dragon's voice. This, we're going to be going for the Chimera Trial next. Alright guys, so when we get there, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are in the trial, so now we need Dragon's voice and Ram's voice. You can also do the Chimera and Carter's Cry dungeon if you like. But this might be a little bit faster. This is Dragon's voice, so make sure you stay in. There it is. So back off. Or in that case, you'll do that one, but usually use the AoE around them. And then you kill. Alright, so there's Ram and Dragon's voice. Alright, so next we are going to be going after Aqua Breath, Snort, and Four Ton Weight. And that's going to be the Dragon's Neck with Ultros and Typhoon. This one I'm going to have to break up in three different parts, or yeah, three parts. Alright, so when we get to the Dragon's Neck, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are in the Dragon's Neck Trial. So Ultros will have the the ton weight and the aqua breath while Typhoon will have the snort. Now, I'm gonna be killing off one of these and then we'll get to the part where they do their ability. That's the part you guys are gonna see. And then I'm gonna jump cut to the next boss and then we'll show you the, the abilities you're gonna get from him, All right? So first we're gonna start with Typhoon. So I'm gonna kill Ultros. He's gonna do his severe snort, then he's gonna do his a snort salt. And then he's going to do the snort that you're looking for, which is the continuous pushback snort. So when we get to that point with Typhoon first, we will continue. Alright, so here it is. As you see, he's casting snort. It's going to be the continuous knockback for a couple times. And then you kill him after that. So basically, he'll be the last one you kill during the fight. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in, kill Typhoon, and then I'll show you Aqua Breath, and then the weight ton from Ultros. Alright, so when we get to that point, we will continue. Alright, so he's going to turn you into an Imp, and then there's Aqua Breath. Alright, so later down the fight, he's going to do his weight attack. Alright, so when we get to that point, we will continue. All right, there it is. Now all you gotta do is wait until you are not an imp anymore, and then you kill Ultros. Or if you're in a group, your group who's not imped can kill Ultros. And that is going to be all the abilities from this fight. Now you can get Aqua Breath from Leviathan. You can get Aqua Breath from the challenge from the Carnival. And also with Snort, 
but not the weight attack. Alright, so I'm going to jump off the edge and completely fail this, and then we're going to move on to the primals. Alright, so when we get to Garuda first for Feather Rain, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are in Garuda Extreme. Now Feather Rain is basically when she jumps, she will rain down feathers. And basically that's it. Alright. So she automatically will jump before she does her ultimate attack, so you definitely cannot miss it. There's Feather Rain. Kill Garuda, and you should be all set. I'm just gonna finish her off real quick. Alright, so the next one we're gonna be getting is Eruption. Now, Eruption is in a Freed, and you can get him in all three renditions of him easy, normal, and extreme. Right, so when we get to Ifrit, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are with Ifrit. Now we need him to do Eruption. There it is. And now I'll kill him. And there you go. Eruption. Alright, next one is going to be Mountain Buster from Titan. You can do either Hard Mode or Extreme. Alright, so when we get to Titan, we will look, continue. Alright guys, so here we are with Titan. Now I think his Mountain Buster, which is the Tank Buster, only comes out when he do his last phase. There it is. And now we kill him. And that ends Titan. Alright. Next is going to be Ramu with Shock Strike. This is going to be a very hard hitting tank buster from his staff. So be prepared for it. So when we get there, we will continue. Alright guys, here we are in Ramu Hard Mode. It doesn't matter Hard Mode or Extreme. He does it just the same, but Hard Mode is a little bit easier. Alrighty, so let's do this. Right there, Shock Strike. You can see the name pop up on the screen. And that concludes Ramu's Shock Strike. Alright, next is going to be Veil of the World from Leviathan. Alright, so when we get there, we will continue. Alright, so here we are in Leviathan. You can do either Hard Mode or Extreme. Hard mode a little bit easier. And he won't do the veil until he comes back from underneath the water. Now watch his head. Right there, that's the veil. Alright, so this is going to be taking a little bit long of a fight, so I'm going to see you guys with Shiva, and we're going to be learning Glass Dance. Alright, so when we get there, we will continue. Alright guys, so this is going to be the final trial. Now Glass Dance will come from Shiva Extreme. Now this will only come through the final phase of her fight after she does her AoEs all around the arena. She will pull out her staff, get behind her, and then that's Glass Dance. Alright, so it's going to take me a while to get to that point, so when we get to the part where she pulls out her bow, we will continue. Alright, so this is the AoE attacks that she pulls off. Soon after, she's going to pull out her bow. Right now, get behind her, glass dance, and finish her off. You cannot miss this. 
And then she accidentally killed her by accident. Alright, and that concludes all the trials. Now, I did forget one dungeon, and that's going to be level 5 Petrify, and that comes from the the Aramon Eye during the last fight of Hawk Manor. So I'm going to quickly go in there, get to the last fight, and show you Petrify. Okay? So when I get there, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are at the last boss of Hawk Manor. Now, the... Aramon will come out when you damage the boss and then you have to get the eyeball down to a certain amount of HP in order for it to use Petrify. There it is. And now finish the Aramon off and it should drop if you're doing unsynced. Alright guys, so that is going to conclude all the open world dungeons and trial spells. Now, we're going to be going back to Oda, and then we're going to be showing you the totem spells. Alright, so when we get to Oda, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are in Oda. As you can see here, I am at X 12.5, Y 13.0, between the Weaver and Miner's Guild. You want to talk to the NPC on the right here, and you acquire the totems. All right, so we have Off Guard, we have Mighty Guard, White Wind, Transfusion, and Moon Flute and Doom. All right, starting with Off Guard. You are going to be needing five spells. White Wind, you need to learn at least 10 spells. Transfusion, you need to learn 12 spells. Mighty Guard, 10 spells. Doom, you need to do 20 Carnival missions, which are going to be right here. And Moon Flute, you need to do at least 10 stages of the Carnival. And that will conclude 1 to 49 spells of the original 1 to 50 Blue Mage. Alright, so that concludes my 1 to 49, and then I did 50 to 80 while back so now I am all caught up with blue mage until they increase the level to 70 and they give us another crap ton of spells to learn all right guys so that's pretty much going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful any comments questions and or concerns please put them in the comment section down below I've been more than happy goes out with any questions you might have and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy 14 content and as a reminder make sure you hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button is where you guys never miss an upload and follow me on all my social media at Zane Lineart on Twitter and Facebook so until next time, guys, may everyone walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and good luck on your spells.